Okay, it is officially our first day off since we've been in South Africa. And what are we gonna do today? <laughs> Probably film some more videos. Uh, right now, I am walking through what's known as a sand forest. And we are about four hours outside of Durban. And this environment is really, really cool. This is the sort of place where you have a good chance of finding forest cobras. In fact, such a good chance that last night, Mario found his first forest cobra. We caught the snake, held on to it, and today we're going to be taking some photographs of this beautiful elapid. This is our first cobra ever, and we found it last night. It was so chaotic. So there it actually... goes. <laughs> there it goes. This is a whole new ball game for us. These snakes are fast. They're in the elapid family. We're used to working with pit vipers in the US. The lapids are, are fast, agile snakes, whereas pit vipers are more relaxed, kind of sit in one spot, ambush. These guys are go, go, go. So what we want to do now is get a feel for the behavior of this cobra in case we encounter one at another point. And of course, I'm going to get some voucher shots that, you know, we found a forest cobra. Man, it is insane how fast this animal is. And he's gone. And he's gone? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> Did you get a shot? I got a shot. <laughs> Now, here's a disclaimer. This area is packed full of forest cobras. It's probably the most common venomous snake you're gonna find here, right? Yeah. There. They've already had rescues of other forest cobras that eventually they will release. So let's bring out another one and let's just kind of study the behavior a little bit. I want to maybe handle it a little bit, yeah. get a feel get for it. Get a feel of how they, how they react. And, yeah. Because they elapids, big elapids are on, on their, their Different body. level. Yeah, different levels. As you can see, you handle it by the tail, it's gonna ride right up, it's gonna be going everywhere, very visual acuity, right? So, yeah, I think um, I'm happy with this shot. Looks pretty good. Looks good to me. Got your shot. Let's bring out another one and get just get a little feel for it. Today's like a cobra training day. <sighs> that snake was insanely fast. You guys are probably thinking to yourselves, Kyrie, are you gonna try to handle one of those cobras? No. Definitely not even gonna risk what that is. A bite from one of those snakes is an immediate medical emergency. Now Mario is going to go into cobra handling training. How do you feel about this? What's that? Cobra Kai? Cobra Kai. Sweep the leg. Well, as we said, and as you saw, cobras are really fast. So what I wanna do is get a feel for their movement and their behavior because we will likely encounter some wild cobras and I wanna be ready to catch one and you know, get it up to the camera. So Tyrone's gonna bring it out, and the key with Cobras is, you know, we've got our snake hook, you often see us working with this, is you wanna tail the snake potentially, and then get this around mid-body. And once the Cobra hoods up, that's your key to get its attention. Now that's obviously a threat display. Now when it's hooded up, I want you to get its attention. So maybe use the GoPro, put it up close to its head, you know, move it around, be the snake charmer. Right? Instead of a flute, you've got the GoPro. I think I can do that. And this GoPro has an extender. So if you're the Cobra, I can get right out like that. Yeah. I'll keep his attention, you get the shot. Cool. Teamwork. All right. All right, so this is a snake that Tyrone rescued uh, from one of the local areas. They do a lot of call outs because snakes sometimes get into residential areas. They're chasing the rodents and the other prey items. Now, in terms of aggression, I mean, so far, like any snake, it seems like their first aspect is to flee, right? Yeah, that's And they're idea. really fast snakes. So you gotta tail them, hopefully get them out to the open, and hopefully get them to a point where they're gonna put. Yeah, you see, most time with forest cubs, they're really defensive. Like now he's in a defensive mode. He's not striking, he's not rushing towards us. Mm. He's just showing you that he's a big snake and he's actually not too worried about you. But you know, if you poke and poke, what he'll actually do, is they'll open the mouth or come and gape and they'll, they can rush straight towards you. Gotcha. So you always have to be quite focused on what he's doing and where his attention is. You can see the moment we make any movements, he's just following all that motion and movement. Right, I'll just wanna, I just wanna get a feel. Oh, and they kind of do 
hood up a little bit on a hook. Yeah, he'll just sit up. He'll hood up quite nicely. But I also want to be aware of, like you said, any potential like charge. Let's see if you get his attention, Coyote. comes back like that and you're not comfortable just you can just drop him out yeah. and just just get up to Yeah just getting a feel for their behavior. How's it feel? Okay, yeah. Just you know it's a it's a serious snake that we want to be aware of. The moment you have a lot of his body on the ground, then he's got traction, then you'll start flicking yeah. around. All right, so that was a little bit of a cobra training, getting a feel for these snakes. I'm gonna put it back into this container here, and then we're gonna release it far away, hopefully from human habitation. These are really, really cool snakes. Yep. Yep. Secured. Woo! All right. I think it went well. It's a little nerve-wracking. It's it's about being as safe as possible. No unnecessary risk. You know, I'm not trying to show off the snake and do anything crazy. So I want to be as careful as I can while controlling the snake and hopefully getting some cool shots and you know uh, getting the snakes up close to the camera.